Hey there, this is John Alexo from Pro Tutorials, where I talk about internet marketing secrets. And in this video, I'm going to quickly explain how you can add a fave icon to your WordPress website. And a fave icon is a small icon which appears on the top section of your browser. And the reason why you always want to add one to your website is, first, it allows people to more easily identify your website on their top section of their browser. And the second reason is it makes your website seem more professional. And when it comes to this, we are going to use um, a photo and image editing software called Photoshop. It's not completely free, but if you want, you can go to their website, photoshop.com, and you can get a 30-day free trial. So during a month, you can use this software completely free and do the images that you need for a website. Anyway, there is a completely free alternative called GIMP. And if you want to learn how you can use that software, just click on the link that you can see on your computer screen so you can watch my other video. And when it comes to images, I'm going to use an image which I got from pixabay.com. And this is a website where you can get free images with no copyrights. And this is really good, especially when you have a blog because many times you, you need images for your articles and so on. And if you don't have one of your own, you can get it from this website. And as you can see, they, they have images with really good quality. Okay, so now I'm going to Photoshop so I can do my small icon. And this is the image which I'm going to transform into a fave icon. So for you, first thing you do is simply get an image. It can be from that website or something that you got from Google. Then you go to File and then you open that image inside of Photoshop. Once you have that image inside of Photoshop, basically what you want to do is transform that image into a 16 by 16 pixel size image. So for you to do that, you just get to the, the section which is called image, and you go to image size, and you can see that at the moment it's way too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to height Actually, I'm going to width first, first, and I'm just going to reduce it to 16 pixels. And make sure that it's in proportion. So if you actually have this, this unlocked, like this, once you put 16 pixels, you can see that it doesn't reduce in proportion. So you actually need to have this lock, so you can be able to do that. And I'm just going to put 16 pixels like this. You can see that now I get an image that is so, so small. And for you to zoom in, you, you need to have this, this icon over here selected, this option over here selected. And then you just can zoom in. And you can see that it looks really terrible when you just zoom in really closely. And now what you want to do once you have that saved, actually this is... If I'm not wrong, it was 16 by 17 pixels. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new image. So I'm going to file. I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to have this 16 by 16, just like this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pass this image from here to this, to this side over here. Because I want to have it 16 by 16. I want that exact size. So that's exactly why I opened a new layer, because this layer has exactly the size which I want. So basically what I want to do is, you can see that over here on the layers uh, window, you want to make sure that you have the right layer selected, and you just want to pass it to the other window, which has exactly the right size. Now basically what you want to do is try to center it as best as you can, and once you do that, and you can see that in this case, I actually have a white background over here. Actually, I'm going, to, I'm going to just leave a white background in this case. And now what I'm going to do is save this file on my computer. So I'm going to my computer, and I'm going to save it on my desktop. When it comes to this, I like to save it as a PNG file, just like this, PNG. So you go over here and you select PNG. And I'm just going to call this Fave Icon. 
You can call it whatever you want. And I'm just going to save it just like this. Okay, so once you have this done, there are two ways that you can actually have this fave icon to your website. And I'm going to first talk about the easiest one. Okay, so the first option and the simplest one is simply using your WordPress theme options. So for you to do that, you need to go to your WordPress dashboard. And then once you are here, you get to Appearance and you select Customize. And then it really depends on the theme, but you probably will have something called Site Identity. And you want to select this option and you want to see something that is called Site Icon. Basically what you want to do is go to Select Image, click on this button, and you want to upload the fave icon which you actually created previously using Photoshop or GIMP. And I have it over here. And then you just open it up. And you can see that now I have this small icon appearing. And I just need to press select. And over here I'm just going to skip cropping because I don't need to do that. Save and publish. And you can see that now I have the small fave icon appearing on the top section of my browser. Now there's a second option and the second option is in case you don't have this option appearing on your theme options. Now the second option is in case your WordPress theme doesn't come with the feature for you to upload your fave icon which nowadays it's not common but sometimes some themes don't have that option and for you to add a five icon, you actually need to have some extra coding to your website. It's nothing special, it's easy stuff, and I'm going to explain how you can do it now. So the first thing that you want to do is simply upload your five icon to your website. So for that, you go to your WordPress dashboard, you select the media section, and you press add new. Now it's pretty much you, the same thing, you just want to upload the, the fave icon which you created previously, which is this one, and it will appear on the, the media area, you can see that I have it over here, but now what you want to do is simply get the URL of this file, which is this one over here. So what you want to do is select everything, copy it, then I have over here a notepad, as you can see, a, a notepad with this piece of coding. This is the coding that you have to add extra to your website. And don't worry because you have this coding on the description from this video. So you just need to copy it from there and then paste it on your website. Now where you see over here, href, your image URL. This area exactly over here, inside of quotes, you just want to delete it and you want to put the URL belonging to your image. So the URL which I got previously from here, you want to copy it and simply post, paste it inside of this quote. So make sure that it's exactly inside of this quotes. Now what you want to do is simply grab this coding, all of this coding, copy it, want to go back to your website, go to appearance, and you want to select editor. Now what you want to do is you want to see on this sidebar over here and you want to go to header.php file. So theme header and you want to see header.php file. You want to select this section and you will see the coding that belongs to the header section of your website, to that section of your website. And you can see over here, head, this is exactly where you want to put your coding. So I'm going to give some spacing. So you want to make sure that you are inside of the head section of your website, of your coding, I mean. And over here, you want to paste all of that coding that I got from my notepad. So basically what you want to do is grab this all, copy it, and just paste it over here and make sure once again, don't delete anything that you see over here. What you want to do is just give some spacing inside of your head section 
and just paste the previous coding which I sh showed to you previously. Now what you want to do is just go below and update file. Now I'm going once again to my website it's a, which is this one and you can see that now I have a small icon the five icon appearing on the top section of my browser and sometimes you actually need to if you don't see it immediately you probably need to clean the the cookies from your browser and so on so you may need to do that so you can see this five icon appearing okay that is all for this video I hope you enjoy and please subscribe so you can receive my weekly video updates where I talk about WordPress, about SEO, how to make money online, and much more. Stay there, stay tuned with Pro Tutorials, and bye.